guys, what's up? It's Maddie. So, hey, you know, how you doing? It's currently my spring break. It is Wednesday. Yeah, so we're like halfway through and I'm kind of sad about it, but it's cool. Um, right now it is 60 degrees outside in Texas and I'm just not about this life. I like my warm weather and it's cold. Um, so yeah, I'm also just kind of a baby. But today I wanted to do a tag for you guys. It's the get to know me tag and I found the questions on Pinterest. Um, I'll link them down below. So I just wanted to do this. I don't really do a ton of sit down videos. Well, I say that, but like I have. Um, I really like doing vlogs and so I was like, you know what? Let's do a sit down video. Um, yeah, so if you're new, um, my channel's kind of all over the place. I just kind of make videos and do kind of what I want. Um, but I am always open to suggestions if you have one. But yeah, you can leave them in the comments on my videos or you can like follow me on Instagram, things like that, and leave them there. A um, little bit of a self promo in there. <laughs> so the Get to Know Me tag. Let's just get into it. And if you, I would love to see all of you guys do this. And if you do do this, you should totally leave a link to your video in the comments. And I would love to go check it out. Or if you've done it in the past, like, still. Okay, so the first question is, what is your middle name? Well, it's Lee. My name is Maddie Lee Moore on here. And I'm thinking about actually changing my channel name because when you type in Maddie Moore, it comes up with Mandy Moore. And, I mean, that's dope, but, like... It's not me. Um, so I'm thinking of changing it to Madeline, but I feel like Maddie is just easier to spell because my name is spelled M-A-D-A-L-Y-N, and so I don't know, but I am thinking about it. My favorite color, so the second question, is blue or orange. I really like the color blue, like my car's blue and things like that, but I also really like the color orange, so yeah. Um, who was your first best friend? Um, her name's actually Brooke. I don't know if she watches my videos. Um, but anyway, her name's Brooke. She actually lives in Minnesota, and we became friends, um, in kindergarten. Yeah, preschool, we were not friends. Um, the fourth question is, how tall are you? I am actually about 5'2". Um, it depends on who's measuring me. Um, I think I'm a little bit under 5'2", actually. Um, so, yeah. It was, I went to the doctor, and they measured me one day, and they were like, you're exactly 5'2", and then I went in the next time, and they were like, oh, you've shrunk a little bit, so someone did it wrong, and I was like, hmm, well. So I'm, I'm close to 5'2". <laughs> um, the fifth question is cats or dogs. I prefer dogs. Cats are really sweet, but I have, uh, like, I volunteer at the local animal shelter with cats and dogs. But cats are just harder for me to interact with. Like, I don't really know, like, how to interact with them. And there's so many rules for cats. Like, they get mad. Like, you can't pet them everywhere where a dog you can. I just prefer dogs. Um, six is the funniest moment throughout school. Wow. Um, funniest moment. I don't know. Um, I'm very Betty by the books, as my mom likes to say, so I wasn't really, like, I'm not really a class clown or anything, so. I don't know. I've had a lot of funny th times with my sister and things like that, but I can't think of one where I'm like, yeah, that was hilarious. So, yeah, I think definitely the funnest times were when my dad would pick us up in the last day of school and he would play Alice Cooper's School's Out and Blair it, and it, that was a good time. Um, seven is how many countries have you visited the U.S.? I have never left the U.S. Um, I've made my way around the U.S., um, driving and things like that, but we don't really stop. Like, we kind of would drive through to our destination. I did get to see the Hoover Dam and the Grand Canyon, though, so we stopped. We made it a leisure time back, but yeah, I've never left the country, so I would love to someday, but it's a lot of work to leave, and... I guess I'm just, I'm comfortable with what I know here in the U.S., and I feel like the U.S. has a lot to offer, so I don't know, but I'm not against it. Um, A is, are you in slash have you gone to college? So technically, yes. Uh, okay, so I am a senior in high school, but I am currently in CNA school, and I'm actually about to graduate that, um, and then I will be going to nursing school, so yes, and I'm going for my bachelor's for four years. 
says four years. So anyway, um, so yeah, I'm technically in college, but not really, because I'm with other high school students. Um, what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? Okay, so my favorite is definitely English. I just really like reading. I love writing things. I just, I'm into that. Um, my worst is definitely math. I just don't get math as well and there's always like one precise answer and my math teacher I've had her for the past two years and she's just she likes to say that I get in my own way um like I'll do the problem and it's right the first time and then I redo it or I drop signs and I just yeah I I just don't like math um it just doesn't work well for me I'm just not a math person but I say that, but I get um, high B's slash like low A's in that class, so it's not like horrible. Um, number 10 is what is your favorite drink? Probably water. But I do like Dr. Pepper, but it's so much sugar. So much. Oh, I dropped my phone and I cracked my screen protector. Ooh, honey. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. <laughs> and that is why I use these. Okay, 11, what is your favorite animal? I don't know. I like a lot of animals. I actually was going to be a vet, but I'm allergic to a lot of animals as well. My favorite pet is dogs. My favorite, like, exotic animal is snakes, so. Um, 12, what is your favorite perfume? Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck and Enchanted. Like, they're the red and purple bottles. I just love them. Um, tea or coffee? Coffee. I do like tea, like green tea and stuff, but coffee is yes. Um, number 14 is what would you or have you named your children? So I don't have children. Um, but I really, really have always liked the name Acklin, and I ended up naming my one of my rats that, and now that I've named my rat that, I don't think I can name my child that uh, but I did I really like different names like my rats names are Acklin, Lyra, and Brinley and they, they all had middle names it's it was dope um so yeah uh but future names see I don't really know I've whenever me I have a sister who is a year and a half younger than me and so we've talked about like weddings and kids and just all this stuff ever since like like we were little girls and my dad kind of brought up the point when we were younger of well your husband gets a say also in what you name your kids and I was like well dang you know and I kind of came to this realization and then um also recently in my life I've decided that I really don't see myself carrying my children I would really like to adopt all of my children and my mom brought up the point of what if your husband really wants a kid and the reason this could be a whole nother video, but I just feel that there are so many kids that need good homes and You know, I don't see a point in having my own children and also Being pregnant is tough and I am a baby <laughs> But that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing for me is just being able to give a child a home that otherwise wouldn't have had giving them a life that they otherwise wouldn't have had, I guess I should say. And I've just seen, I feel like adoption is becoming a lot more common. I know it's expensive, but it's becoming a more common thing. And I think it's just such a beautiful thing. And like, and in my dream world, I would love to adopt like a group of five siblings. And you know, I also want to adopt older children. Um, I love kids, but newborns are kind of scary. <laughs> I babysit a ton and all that, but, like, they are just a wet noodle. Um, and I actually am thinking about going into labor and delivery, so that's kind of funny. But I think it would be really awesome if they're, like, five, you know, they're potty trained, they talk, we are good to go. Um, but also I think about, like, oh, I might miss out on stuff, but then I get to, like, learn about them. And it's kind of like in the dogs that we've gotten, when we get them as puppies, like, yes, you get to experience all this stuff and all of that, but when we've gotten them when they're older, it's been so much more rewarding. And I know that kids are not dogs, but that's just what I see right now. Um, obviously things can change and I might look back on this video and be like, girl, you had like seven kids of your own. What were you thinking? Um, 
So yeah, and also it's the point of I don't want to be a young parent. I think it would be cool to adopt kids when I'm in my mid to late 30s and be a mom then. Again, might change. Um, but my parents are really young parents and that's... I mean, people in my family are just kind of young parents and I want to be a travel nurse or I want to go on all these vacations and I want to, you know, just enjoy being young and in love or married or whatever happens and I think that when I'm older then I'll be more prepared to be a parent and you know by that point like the fertility clock is going to be running out so but I do want a big family so anyway that got off into something totally different um 15 is what sports do you play slash have you played so I don't play any sports I'm just mm, I do like running and things like that but I don't play any sports um I used to do dance and gymnastics and not at the same time well the way it went was dance and then cheer while I was doing dance like with my school and then I ended up doing gymnastics but that quote when I was 13 like I just um I dislocated my shoulder and it was kind of the end of that so um, number 16 is what is your favorite book? So it's actually a series and it's The Demonadas by um, Darren Shan. I also really like the Cirque de Freaks, but The Demonadas were a little bit more like oomph, you know what I mean? Um, 17, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I love Jenna Marbles. Like, I know that's such a cliche one, but I love her and Shane Dawson. Um, who else I really like? I really like watching This Gathered Nest or, yeah, I think that's what her name is and it's this family and they've like adopted a ton of kids and they're she's just super cool they're super cool I guess I should say they're family um I really like watching Nikki Philippi like she just has her life together and then who else let's see let's go some of their names are like hard to remember oh, my nose is so runny let's see oh Nikki Philippi got a tattoo guys things are getting intense um, <laughs> I really like Dr. Phil, even though he's not a YouTuber, but, like, his YouTube channel be popping. <laughs> um, Manny MUA, um, that's kind of a basic one. I'm trying to see if I have anyone else where I'm, like, you need to go subscribe because they're amazing. I really like, oh, my gosh, Carly Holden and KK Baby J and, um, OK Baby, like, Love them. I like Ashley Elizabeth. I like, we should go through my favorite YouTubers. But yeah, those are just some of my favorite. Um, number 18, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? I'm not a huge m movie person. I don't know. Favorite movie. I really like kids movies and so for a while here my favorite movie has been Trolls. Before that it was Inside Out. And Finding Dory, oh, love Finding Dory. Um, so yeah, I really like kids movies and like horror movies. Like there isn't, I don't like action movies, like there isn't really an in between. So yeah. 19, are you single or taken? I am single and boys are stupid. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not at a point in my life where, like, before I felt like I needed a relationship, and now I'm kind of like, I don't need a relationship to be happy, and I don't really need one right now. Anyway, like, I'm getting ready to leave. Things are good. Like, I'm happy with my life, and we don't need to add anyone to this mess. It's actually not really a mess right now. We don't need anyone to make a mess of it. Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to prom again alone this year. I've made that decision. I was thinking about going with um, a guy, and I was talking to some of them, and they were just really high-maintenance and annoying. That sounds, okay, that sounds really rude. But, like, I just was, like, is going with you going to be more fun than going by myself last year? And I decided no. So, um, 20, what's your idea of an idea? Hello? Uh, my idea of an ideal first date. I don't really have an ideal first date, I guess. I mean, one of the cutest dates I've been on, I guess if we can talk about that instead, is um, 
I went with this guy, and he actually ended up not being very nice, but he was nice in the beginning, and he surprised me and took me um, mini golfing, and it was a lot of fun, and yeah. Yeah, it was super cool. I didn't know we, where we were going, and so I thought that was really sweet. But I like driving my car, so probably me driving us. Oh, probably me driving us, or we meet there. Um, but I like showing off my car and its sound system. And we go to a trampoline park, and then after that we go to Rosa's. And I'm cool to pay for my stuff. So, and his stuff too. Like, if I got a job, cool. But yeah, that's my ideal first date. So anyone is how many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? A lot. I don't know what you're counting, what they're counting. I'm going to be real with you guys. I am someone that has casually dated a lot of people, and most of my relationships have lasted relationships for about a month. Normally I'll, like, hang out with someone and go on dates with them for about a month, and that's it. Simply because, okay, my dad has always been kind of like, go see, like, what you like, set your standards, and it's okay to casually date someone, but also set those, like, ground rules and barriers. So, I have done that with a lot of people, and normally I'm like, oh, you're pretty fun, like, we can do this for a little while, but I don't see it being, like, a long-term thing, and then I'm like, okay, I didn't like this, 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 and this about you, and, um, I look at, okay, is that something I'd be willing to, like, put up with, and things like that, um, and I think... I think that's okay. So yeah, I've, a lot, a lot of people um, I've casually dated. Um, my longest relationships, I've had two that lasted nine months, none over a year. Um, and those two, honestly, probably shouldn't have lasted that long because they were very healthy relationships. So yeah, um, most of them about a month, sometimes less. Sometimes we go out once. And also I'm someone where like, <sighs> Being, dating and being your girlfriend are two different things, I guess. And, like, we don't have to go out somewhere to go on a date, but, like, are we hanging out as boyfriend and girlfriend? Or are we hanging out like this as a date? Does that make sense? Like, I feel like today, girlfriend and dating are, like, synonymous, and I feel like maybe they shouldn't be. Like, if we're going out, we're dating, and when we're dating, you can ask me to be your girlfriend, and that means we're exclusive. And that's why I've actually run into issues with people, and I've decided to start putting that out on the table. And I've never dated more than one person at once, but we'll end up, and we'll be going on dates, and we'll be hanging out and doing these things, and they just assume I'm their girlfriend. No. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 22 is my favorite memory from childhood. Oh, wow. Mm, well, I technically am still a child. I'm only 18. But my favorite memory would probably have to be... There's so many good ones. Um, probably my dad taking me and my sister on a daddy-daughter date to the movie Flicka. And I actually want to have my daddy-daughter dance to... Uh, what's the song called? It's My Little Girl by... I think it's... Tim Tim McGraw is that his name I don't know but I I want that to be our daddy daughter dance at my wedding don't tell him um 23 do you speak any different languages and how well no I took Spanish and I tried and I really tried but I, it just was not for me um yeah and also I was learning Spain Spanish and I live in Texas where they speak Mexico Spanish so I've held on to little bits and pieces like I can order food fairly well. I can say what hurts and I can say what's going on, but I can't really tell you. Like, we had to learn directions and things like that. I can't help you. Um, so not very well. 24, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two, a brother and a sister, and my brother actually has a YouTube channel here, but he's kind of not sure he wants to keep it up. And then my sister, and he's 13 by the way, and then my sister is 16, and um, she's actually thinking of starting a YouTube channel, which is super cool, super dope. Um, 25, how would you describe your fashion sense? Very unique, very out there. Um, just me. It's very me. It's a big reflection of my personality, which is kind of just all over the place. I'm very carefree. So, yeah. Um, uh, number 26, what is your favorite restaurant? Rosa's. <laughs> I can eat there for less than 10 bucks and get stuffed, so... 
Um, 27, what are some of your favorite TV shows? So, I really like Friends. Um, I really like Stranger Things. Um, Grey's Anatomy was okay, but now that I'm in CNA school, I'm like, wow, that is not realistic. Like, someone had C. diff, and they're standing there, like, just hanging out, talking, like, where is your PPE? No. So, yeah. That, hmm. Um, and, okay, I, this is gonna sound so crazy. I don't know if I liked the show 13 Reasons Why. Let it sink in. Hang on. And I know, okay, this video, I'm not, like, completely answering the questions, but it is so you guys can get to know me. And I feel that that movie, that show, could have had a very powerful message. And in the beginning, I was like, yes! I think that this could be very, like, very educational and very helpful and it kind of okay here's why I do not like it and you can disagree with me because we live in America or wherever you live and this is YouTube and yeah um number one I do I feel like she blamed other people and I know that that can be the case if you've gone through something terrible you are allowed to I don't know because of the way I have been raised, my dad has always said that there's a lot, there's a lot of things my dad has said, <laughs> but basically, um, the only thing you can control, number one, is your reaction to people, and two, is like your attitude, you can control your attitude, and you have to be your own advocate, and like all of this stuff, and so it just, she, I guess I've just been raised a lot differently than she was raised. And I know it's a show, but just hear me out. And so for me, I I understand that she was in a fragile position, but I also don't feel like she had to make tapes telling people why it's their fault that she killed herself. Like, I feel like that was pretty uncalled for. And I feel like some of the people didn't even do super bad things. Like, I understand that they built up, but at the same time, bro, like, that, you just left them with a lifetime of guilt. And I feel like the show... <sighs> was tr maybe trying to say, like, look, you, we get your teenagers, we get you're going to do stupid stuff, but it can affect people. But I feel like I didn't really get that big of a vibe or emphasis on that. And then also it was the fact of <sighs> I personally feel like it kind of glorified suicide. And um, for me, when I was watching it, I did not have these... Like, when they showed the scene of her killing herself, I did not have these overwhelming feelings of sadness. I didn't... I don't know. For me, the show was only ho-hum, I guess. And I feel like they could have executed it better. I'm not, like, this amazing director because I'm here on YouTube. But personally, it didn't evoke a lot of emotions. It didn't... Yeah. I just really wasn't feeling it, and I haven't read the book, and maybe the book is completely different and would bring all of that to me, but yeah, I just was not feeling it, but last night we did watch a movie that was kind of on the similar lines of stuff, and it was the movie Trust, and that got me feeling a lot more things, and it just showed a lot more raw emotion, where I feel like 13 Reasons Why I didn't. I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't, um, have the reaction that I thought I would, and I really didn't, yeah. Yeah. Um, 28 is PC or Mac? Neither. <laughs> PC. 29, what phone do you have? I have the iPhone 6S. So, but I plan on going to the Google Pixel, guys, not even gonna lie. 29, what, oh no, 30! Tell us one of your bad habits. Hmm, a bad habit. I have a lot of these. Okay, one of the most stupid ones that is just, like, dumb is I constantly put my hair behind my ears and I get, like, weird little marks from it. It's a habit from when I was growing it out to this point. I mean, that's petty. One of the bigger ones... Controlling my facial expressions, but that's more of like something I need to learn. It's just a bad habit of making whatever face I am of emotion I'm feeling at that point, and it doesn't always go very well for me. So, yeah. 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun filming it. Um, and you guys let me know if you have questions down below or whatever. Um, yeah, like this is, I'm making videos for you guys. And I'm so excited that I have hit, let's see how many we're at. We were at 192 last time I checked. Okay, we're still at 192, but recently my channel has just blown up, and I cannot believe it, and I'm just so grateful and so excited. Um, so yeah, but I do need to go through and pop, maybe delete some of my old videos, like they're just, I don't know. So yeah, um, I'm so thankful though, you guys, that is insane. Like, I hit 60 a few months ago, and I was over the moon. And I was, like, showing everyone, like, my family. I was like, guys, I hit 60, and I'm at, like, almost 200. And I'm like, what? Cannot believe it. So, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.